Yeah, I was uh, the screenwriter of the film, The Big Love Story. If you have any questions, any questions or complaints. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I kill the fish? Oh, yeah. and because of the reactions that I got. Yeah. Very upset. Sometimes, sometimes people have to go. Sometimes it's a fish. Sometimes it's worse when it isn't. <laughs> Was it a real fish? Were real fish harmed in the making of that? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Just one I got in trouble for answering that one honestly before. <laughs> yeah, that's actually true. At the premiere, somebody asked that question because it's a great question. And I was like, I think we did. And they were like, damn, don't answer. <laughs> it wasn't intended, but you know, they did have a plan for they weren't intending to, but yeah, it did happen. I have natural causes. Yes. <laughs> did the friend pay us? Yeah. Yes. Did the friends pay up in the That's the sequel. Beat the shit out of everybody. Yeah, how difficult was it to get a get a film actually made? Um, it was it was pretty difficult. Um, just trying to get anyone to read anything. Yeah. Because this was the first one for me. Right. So they're like, even if you have something that's good, you can, if you think it's good. Or care because they might think it's good, but you don't have any track record, and it's very risky on their part to take anyone who has nothing on their resume like that. So, yeah, it, it was hard, and they weren't even really interested in that one initially. I was trying to give them a horror comedy, They're like that's good, but we like this other romantic comedy one. And luckily, I, I had something, a plan B, because I had plan A, and you know, if it was six months earlier. They would have been like, we like this horror comedy, but it's not for us. Do you have anything else? I would have been like, no, they don't. But luckily, you know, I had something else that they were interested in. So that's why now I try to have a variety of different types of scripts, horror, action. So they're like, we're looking for this. And I'm like, bam. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking for? But yeah, it was, it was, it was a long time. It was, it was very difficult. So does that mean you walked in? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some decorum, sir. <laughs> Um, so does that mean you walked into a place where they're like, we want to make a movie, but to see all the scripts that are lost? No, I was I was browsing Craigslist as I do, <laughs> <laughs> and there's always you know like arts and creative writing and filmmaking stuff, and most of it's always pretty risky and like shady people are like, we're gonna make a movie in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a lot of casting couches. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a lot of, yeah. I'll make casting couches. Did you have? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Answer that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, and, so you came up to a bunch of people. Oh no, no! I, I went to them. There's somebody who's on Craigslist was looking for a movie, and like I said, I had this horror comedy that I just finished, so I was really high on it. And I was like, look at it. And like he was interested in this other one. And I was like, yeah, read it. Didn't know who this person was. They didn't really know who I was. If we liked what we were saying, then we'll introduce and really see if it's worth pursuing. And then you know, I found out who he was. Like, my name is Ryan Sage. I work on Modern Family on ABC. And I was like, oh, you're a real person. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they laughed us out. They did. They saw it. Yeah. Sorry about that. Well, we got a couple more people that I'll be here to We save seats. <laughs> <laughs> Always <laughs> like. <laughs> so, yeah. And anything else? The writing of it? Yes, tell me. How much, did, how much did it change from the way you wrote it to what we actually saw? Uh, the uh, original draft was uh, more vulgar and crude. And those that know me, <laughs> <laughs> but right away he's like, I love it. And a lot of it's still there, but the whole process was he wanted, the director Ryan Sage wanted to, he's more wanted to focus on the heart of it. That was a phrase he kept repeating, heart, heart, heart. And I was like, that's fine, I can do heart, I think. <laughs> and so we focused on that. So as far as the original and what's there now, 30, but maybe 30%, but I still did you know, pretty much 100% of that. But compared to the actual original, it, it, it's quite different. To the, so, to so the point where I'm like, why did you even get this? So you're the rewrite, <laughs> the rewrite done by you then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I do most of them. The director took a pass, which is a thing that happens, and then I came in again at the end and you know cleaned it up and everything, got it ready, 
right before production, which which is great. And I tell any screenwriter friends that I have, uh, you know, everyone's going to try to get their hands on it, and that's fine. Just try to be the last one to to get your hands on it because it goes from you to in front of the camera, and that's that's the most important part. Yeah, I could, like you said, original thirty percent. That means nothing. Doing that last one was the, the key of it all for me. So that was a big lesson. Right. Um, I thought it was awesome that they great put, question. They, <laughs> 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 that they put the working title. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm glad they put your working title at the very end. <coughs> yeah, actually, the original title of the script was "The Weight War," which they actually mentioned a couple times. Oh, really? Like, you're like, I'm gonna win this weight war. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot that was the actual original title of the script. And then for a while, uh, it was called uh, Worth the Weight, very punny. People love that title. Well, I, I didn't I really like, I'm not a really? pun person. I don't like puns, <laughs> just don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> but they liked it and I was like, that's funny, you know, it's your movie call, whatever you want. And then you know, for business reasons, they wanted to call it a big love story. It's like, it's your, your movie, call it, call it what you want. But yeah, that does seem to be the, the popular thought that worth the wait. Pardon the interrupt. The nine o'clock show is starting, and if anyone had purchased a ticket for it, come on in. Otherwise, enjoy. Keep okay. on talking. All right. <laughs> All right. Somebody was over here. Oh, yes. Did you have a hand in picking any of the characters? Like the main character? Like, no, that's not who we want. We want this guy instead because he more embodies what I'm going. Through. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> and because I, it was my first movie, so I didn't really know how the process works. One day, the director emailed me, he's like, here's the list of people that we're going with. And I was, I'm just looking at them. I'm looking at their demo reel, their previous work. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, no, I had no say. I have some projects in the works now where I'm, it's the opposite. I'm very involved to the point where I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Stop asking me. <laughs> But no, for this one, uh, not at all. But I, I thought they all did a great job. Oh, yeah. Either, so. Yes. Concerning it's, uh, the first endeavor, mm -hmm. what were the, what was the thing that came easiest for you during the process, and what was the hardest thing that you had to deal with in making it this movie? Um, the, the dialogue is probably the easiest. Whenever the changes they would make, and I would have to kind of fix it or polish it. That's how I would go about it. And that was, it was the easiest band-aid. I would start there because I know I could get to the end that way. And I would just go about that. The hardest part of the process would probably just be, it, it was a lot of rewrites. First movie, and all the books you ever read about screenwriting, like, get ready to rewrite because that's all you're going to do. And I was like, yeah, maybe for some people, I'll just do a couple rewrites. <laughs> no, there were a lot of rewrites, and, but I, I didn't mind it. It was just, it was, it was hard. It was difficult, but I would rather do all those rewrites than have somebody else do it. And not because what they're going to do might be bad, but it'll be different. And when you have two different tones or two different personalities, it just might not make for a, a, the best movie that it could be. So, yeah, rewriting is very difficult, and that's probably my least favorite part of screenwriting, but it, it is what it is. So the amount of time you spent writing with script versus rewriting the script? Um, rewriting, probably a lot more. Yeah, it takes me a good two, three, maybe four months to write a script, and it seemed like the rewriting process was uh, forever. I'm going to be email when I get home about, oh, okay, I'll change that character too. So yeah, it's a, it's mostly that it, writing is rewriting is a thing you see in all these books, and it, it seems to be true uh, for screenwriting especially. So. Do they want it completely different? Yeah, how much how much do they change? Uh, initially the changes that they want to do is for heart. Like there's a lot of crude storylines. Like I'm still I'm still surprised that the abortion subplot made it that far. It sounds like heart, but you're gonna we're gonna keep this. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, um, so yeah, that what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to the post <laughs> When they uh, when they ask you to rewrite, how how much do they want you to change it? Uh, it all it all depends. It, it's mostly layers. It's not like we're gonna rewrite, do ninety percent of it. It's just like here's a couple things we'd like you to do and then you hand it in. 
here's some more things that you'd like you to do. And it just keeps going and going like that. So it's, it's hard to know exactly how much or anything, but uh, it's like. Do you like all the requests and ads? Does it make sense? Well, they don't want you to rewrite this all of this, or are you kind of fighting with them sometimes? Uh, not, not really fighting. It, they're, they're, it's, it's mostly a matter of preference. They're not saying change this because it's bad. They're saying change this because we want to take it this direction. And at that point, you know, it's their movie, and I'm just sticking along as, for as long as I can. So it's just all a matter of preference, and I just try to, to, to do it my way and save it. Because sometimes, in my mind, like, oh, you want to do it that way, I might not think that's a great idea, but it's going to happen. I'll try to save it as best I can. And sometimes it, it's, it's a game like that. After you've seen this movie before, I take it. Yeah, a couple times, yes. What was the uh, moment that you were looking forward to seeing everyone's reaction to the most? I love the, the drunk dinner scene because it's extremely awkward. And I can just hear people <laughs> cringing. <laughs> <laughs> The scene I, I dislike the most now is the meatball death scene because my girlfriend always hits me. <laughs> yeah, I can't watch it with women because when that poor fish goes, I can't it. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I like the awkward scenes a good amount because you're going to have the laughs and everything, but it's just like, it's mixed up with this awkward dinner scene that seems to last forever. Let's, let's enjoy that for a little bit. How did you come up with this great love story? What inspired you? Um, how did I come up with it? Um, I was a great big fat person. Uh, <laughs> I still kind of am. And I would look at the tips and tricks how to lose weight. And I saw an article. It was like, oh, you know, get a group of friends and start a little weight war. You know, a safe competition with each other. It's a motivating tactic. And I was like, that's great. I don't have friends. <laughs> they can experience this greatness. So that's that's pretty much where that started. Because I did think it was a really neat idea, and I really would have loved to have tried it. But uh, I so I just took it from there and threw it right on on the screen like that. Well, that's good. Thank you. Um, you said the original title was like Wait War. Was the original movie that you had written more of a focus on? The group of friends trying to lose weight and less on this like love story that came out. <laughs> like all this romance. Um, <laughs> it was probably still a balance. There probably was a little bit more of the friends and the competition, and because the early drafts were more comedic, more not slapsticky, but just just more comedic, and they're trying to sabotage each other. And some of it's still there. He's trying to give them the cookie and things like that. You know, it was a lot of that. And but there, there were still the, the romance stuff, but there's probably more of it now because, like I said, they, want, they wanted to take it this direction, which I think still works. But yeah, compared to the early drafts, there's there's just more comedic and focused on friends, which I still love to focus on because I love those characters. Lashana, I watch every movie with them. It's like I'd love to see Lashana and Miles in this movie. <laughs> like it's such an impossible three. I know. <laughs> <laughs> scenes or anything that you wrote that they left out? Probably, uh, as far as deleted scenes, I'm, I'm not too sure. You know what, I think uh, there are, but I don't know them off the top of my head. The early cuts of the movie where, where we premiered and California, all that good stuff, to the movie we have now, there's, all, there's maybe 30, 40 seconds of stuff missing. Not too much. One scene that I just remembered when Miles is in the bathroom with the drunk lady and they're fooling around. There's a little more of that, which I was like, why'd you cook that? <laughs> <laughs> because he actually, and it's weird, I still don't know why, he's fumbling with her with her bra. In, in this one, like she's, she just takes it off. In the original cut, he's really fumbling and he can't get it, so that's why she takes it off. And I was like, I should have kept that guy. I understand his pain. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not, not too many deleted scenes that really revolve around the story. There's just little nuggets here and there. <laughs> All right, anything else? Yeah, um, um, since you've had this done, I know it's done well in other festivals. Uh, what has that done for you professionally as far as doors opening? Uh, yeah, well, people do answer the door, yeah. which is really what I was looking forward to. Because like I said, you think you have a good script, 
have nothing on your resume, mm -hmm. they're not going to take a risk on you more than likely. Now, the award-winning romantic comedy. We might not be making romantic comedies, but it's something there. So they might read my email, they might answer my phone call, which before they wouldn't. Mm -hmm. And once, you know, once I just get that far, then it's just, it's up to me, it's up to the work, and it speaks for itself. But sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but yeah, the doors are opening, there's interest and other movies, projects coming, which probably wouldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it, it did exactly what we wanted to do, which is to just help these doors open just a little bit yeah, more. Did you get an agent? Yeah. Not yet. Everything I've been doing is just 100% by myself. <laughs> 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 this is why I'm not really rolling in the dough. Mm -hmm. like, how much money do you want? I'm like, whatever you want to give me. <laughs> answer, I don't um, you need an agent, buddy. I know. I know. Need you an agent. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's probably next. That's actually probably next. But you know, so far, just for writing some. It's coming out on iTunes or it's uh, it's on Amazon and iTunes. I oh, believe. it is. All right. Uh, supposedly, it's on Comcast on demand. I've been told. I haven't seen it. Uh, hopefully Netflix, Netflix soon, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, you know, everybody asks that. Netflix, I'm like, I don't know, soon, I think. Do you get money for that stuff, or once it's... Uh, once it starts making a profit, I'll probably start seeing uh, money trickle in. But with creative Hollywood accounting, it might take a while. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. Anything else? Okay. Oh, what about projects? Um, other projects, uh, last summer I filmed this little side summer project, uh, directorial debut called Dirt Bags, which hopefully next year I can debut here. I'd love to, yeah, in case it's in. Um, that I wrote and directed. And I, I sold a couple others that are being filmed, one in Canada, which that just makes me laugh. I'm like, yeah, I'm international. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and then another one locally. So, yeah, I have movies coming out. Uh, every year until 2017, which is what I'm working on now. So, yeah, it's, it's Are you hoping to continue with uh, the screenwriting or the directing? The, screen, <laughs> the screenwriting. Dirtbags was an experiment. I wanted to see what it was like directing. It was very low budget and everything, but I still wanted to get my feet wet in it. I hated it. It wasn't for me. I can see why people do like it, but I'm, I just like sitting in my room. Yeah, they definitely probably gonna stick to screen writing for the most part. All right, thank you guys. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I may have some of that. Do you? I think I do. I'm behind that. I have all of it.